Hello, welcome to another video. Mut here. Today I'm going to create another art journal. Here is the first one that I created in this new notebook, which is very cheap from a local store. I'm going to use my gelatos today. You will see the colors on the screen as I am using them. And I am starting from a light color to a dark color. Uh, and the color scheme I'm going to use is uh, from uh, yellows to uh, greens to blues and uh, lastly purple. Creating smooth uh, blended backgrounds uh, requires a little bit patience with gelatos. Uh, I hear from some of you that uh, you are not enjoying them a lot. Uh, but it took me some time as well to get used to how they work. First of all, uh, you need to gesso your page for sure uh, because uh, otherwise the paper will uh, take the gelato, it will soak into the paper and uh, it will be difficult to move. With gesso it's much much easier. So I gessoed my page before and sometimes uh, in the first attempt it doesn't come out uh, right. As you see now it's uh, quite ugly. Uh, but I will be patient and I uh, will keep uh, blending them and sometimes uh, also it takes uh, layers and layers uh, to get the color that you want uh, maybe uh, at first it might be lighter but uh, when you layer them it will be very vibrant in the end I really love them uh, they are very creamy easy to blend for me uh, and uh, I love the colors that they have uh, also, I love the fact that uh, over gesso, I can also erase them, so they move uh, after even applying. As you see now, I moved from greens to blues, with a lighter uh, tone of blue and uh, to a darker one now. And lastly, I'm going to move to a purple. In the meantime, I can also tell you the list of supplies are down below at the description area, as usual, with links to online stores. You will also find them in my blog and uh, the link is down below as well. And I am applying the last color as a first base. As you see it's not so smooth uh, and so vibrant as I wanted. Uh, and also I want a smoother transition uh, between the white that I keep in the middle and the yellow. So I uh, start uh, applying all the colors again until I like it. You will see it will take some time and uh, I will leave you with music uh, and see how I blend it and I will catch you later. So as you see here I have my background quite vibrant and uh, nicely blended. Now I'm going to do some texture work. I love this uh, mini stencil from Kaiser Craft. It has uh, bamboo uh, leaves. I thought white would be quite striking over this uh, background. Uh, and I'm using my texture paste uh, from Stamperia. 
It's the first time I will use this. Uh, let me see. I'm very uh, critical of uh, texture pastes. I don't like all of them and uh, Liquitex uh, light modeling paste is my favorite so far. But uh, I will try this today and uh, we will see together uh, how it will perform after drying. I keep uh, putting some more uh, branches and uh, leaves here. And uh, here is a, a very uh, beautiful stem from Stampendus. I love these hummingbirds. Uh, it has it comes with a stencil as well. Uh, also, uh, the birds create a mask too. I'm going to stamp them on the Tim Holtz uh, Distress Watercolor cards uh, because you will see I will use water-based uh, medium. If you are using uh, watercolors, it's important to use the appropriate uh, paper. Uh, otherwise, you won't enjoy uh, what you're doing. Uh, the paint will be soaked into the paper. It won't move. Uh, so you won't like it. Uh, I'm uh, stamping uh, the hummingbirds. The big one uh, once and the small one twice. And eventually, I decided to color these with my gelatos as well. Uh, still, it works because the gelatos move with water. So I put uh, the same colors on my craft mat uh, here uh, a little bit and then I'm taking them with my uh, water brush. Uh, this uh, brush has already has water in it so it's very easy to apply. Uh, I'm uh, taking a little bit and uh, coloring the birds as I wish. This is another way to use your gelatos. Also, you will see, since I use the same colors as I used in my background, the colors in the journal will be uh, very harmonized. This is another way of uh, matching colors uh, if you are having difficulty uh, deciding which colors to use. If you uh, go back to the same colors over and over, there is no other chance, but uh, they will match perfectly. So here are my little hummingbirds. Uh, I'm just uh, getting rid of the white edges after fussy cutting them using a Faber-Castell uh, brush marker. I really love the tropical uh, colors on this page uh, and they go very well with each other because I use the same colors on the birds too. Now I will decide where to put my birds. Uh, I will only use three. Uh, and I am using tacky glue this time instead of matte medium because I have a uh, gelatos on the page and they, it will move with water uh, which means they will move with matte medium so I, I will ruin my page and the colors if I use matte medium all over the place. After I stick them I am going to stamp my coat. This is an alphabet stamp set uh, from my favorite things. Uh, I really like them because uh, they connect with each other. However, uh, I never used them before. It's the first time so I didn't realize uh, and uh, know how to use them. Uh, I stamped it as I would normally, uh, two, three together. However, you need to stamp it one by one to connect them. Well, eventually I got there. Uh, and these are uh, some uh, chipboard uh, letters that I had in my stash, I don't know since when. Uh, I decided to use uh, these uh, for the word colors. And uh, I am coloring these uh, with the same colors of gelatos again that I used uh, on my background and on my birds. So again, they will be very harmonized with the rest of the page. This will also give some interest and uh, dimension to the page. Again, I'm going to stick them with uh, tacky glue. And my quote is, nature always wears the colors of the spirit. Uh, it really goes with the page since it's uh, related to nature and the beautiful creatures in it. I'm going to go over the uh, letters a little bit with my uh, brush pen again just to make sure they are uh, really black. And I decided they are uh, too black for my page because there are white elements. I thought it would be good if I 
uh, filled it uh, a little bit with white highlights so I use my uh, gel pen and I did some white splashes also I used my diamond uh, stickers which is a transparent color all over my hummingbirds as you see making them all glittery not losing the colors and also on my uh, chipboard letters uh, so that they are again uh, harmonized going well with each other and the page is finished I will leave it here uh, I wanted it to be uh, simple enough I hope you enjoyed it I really love the colors that I see on the page if you like my videos please don't forget to leave me comments uh, hit the like button or subscribe to my channel that's how I know uh, you want to see more so I keep doing them as I said, the supply list is down below at the description area or in my blog. Thanks a lot for watching and see you next time.